guys, welcome back to the Star Card Tarot. I am here to do a reading on De'Air and Ken. Guys, please remember to like, share, subscribe, turn on those post notification bells so that you guys are updated each and every time I do bring you reads. Now, as I was shuffling the first deck, I did get the Three of Swords. It flipped out. And then also the Nine of Swords was at the bottom of the deck. So there's still some tension um, between these two, but they're going to act as if everything is okay. Um, there's still some tension. There's still some heartache here. So let's see what we get. <clears throat> Dear and Ken. Will they be getting back together? Will they be returning to their relationship? One second, guys. Alright, guys. Sorry about that. Alright. Dear and Ken. What's going on? Contract fell backwards, upside. Angel of Balance. Victory. Woman holding a coin. Somebody's feeling as if they weren't, and it's probably Dear that was feeling as if she wasn't feeling balanced in the relationship anymore. Um, there's a sense of victory. Um, surrounding the situation on her behalf I think it's more feeling as if good thing I found out before um, and I'm gonna say before there was an actual contract they did have a contract due to them having a channel together however they're trying to do a flippation of this okay so this is where you've got them leaving what they've already got together and now building on them own um, selves each of them but De'Aire is feeling as if she yep she's um, right now in a celebratory mode so she's probably just, you know, hanging out, trying to enjoy life, getting along with friends, um, just having positive vibes and people around her right now. And it seems like people actually want to bring her sort of some type of happiness. Um, I'm hearing about deserve, so maybe they feel that she's deserved. She's tired of fighting you've got five of swords came out in the reverse definitely tired of having to um try to to act as if she's not seeing anything is, is what i'm hearing okay so there may be times where she has actually wanted to speak out on things however it doesn't seem to me um from the energy i'm picking up from her it doesn't seem like she's the one that's actually going to be able to get actually on camera and disclose her business and this pro that's most likely a good thing to be honest um she feels as if um she's gonna protect that portion of whatever she can protect um she's definitely gonna protect that not um for ken but for herself um there's some sense of a lesson learned here okay she does feel um, like there has been some type of delay. Um, maybe right here with the Empress, um, she's <clears throat> feeling as if things are slowing down when it becomes wanting to 
um, have a family. So in other words, um, getting married, having children. Um, it looks like the, this, the residence that they were um, building together, um, she really wanted that. It, it was like she was, she literally could taste it. And I'm hearing about something of being ripped from under. So maybe she's feeling, yeah, she's feeling that things made her have to go in the other direction. So it probably wasn't, and it's most likely that she didn't want to end the relationship. I think um, the cheating, the back and forth um, has gotten to a point where other people are looking for her to look in another direction. Um, they're looking for her to turn to go somewhere else um, simply because they feel uh, the way that Ken has or was moving was just inappropriate. Um, they were sort of looking for her to to travel and, and survey, survey things more for herself. Um, maybe she was doing things a, a little different and they felt as if she was moving sort of yeah she was making movements to become one and then you had somebody come behind and she's always having to fight with them about street life um things that she's hearing in the street and the publicity with the empress here the publicity that he was getting um her it wasn't good. It wasn't good publicity that he was bringing to their doorstep. It started to affect her. But let's um see further along what's what's going on here. That's so. This is why she probably most likely ended the relationship. It was most likely just something that she could no longer um try to act like it. She was okay with um having not being able to say things uh, publicly or wanting to say things um, publicly because she never wanted to hurt um, Ken but she always felt that she was in a situation or a bind where it was just everybody was looking at her it was more like dear dear are you what are you gonna do what are you gonna do about this what are you gonna do and so this is why now she's going ahead and saying okay Ken let's take because I really true Lee, from the energy I'm getting, I believe Dier is the one definitely that ended the relationship um, and just said that, you know, let's just walk away. Um, let's just walk away. Okay. All right. So is Dier and Ken, is there any reconnections here, Spirit? <laughs> the Four of Wands. They are definitely not done with each other. Um, there is still some sense of wanting a happy home. Some sense uh, and some possibility of having that type of setting. Uh, somebody is still yearning for that situation to happen. Um, yeah. All right. What else on this reconnection? All right, let's see. There might be some additional information coming out concerning, um, I'm going to say Ken. Um, something that's probably going to lead to something legal, a legal situation. Uh, but right now he feels as if he is actually being uh, left behind. I'm thinking, by the way, um, Dier is now carrying herself. He's feeling as sort of he's being uh, left behind. However, there is balance he's wanting to definitely bring balance into this relationship um, he's trying to do that full force because there's definitely a new beginning that he is wanting with her um, trust and believe this is not something again that he preferred this is something where um, he couldn't deny her that due to what he had already done he had already placed her in a situation where she felt as if 
she just could not deal with him or anything that he had or was doing okay um yeah right now she's she's i'm gonna say fiery i guess like a fiery sense from her um she's being really outspoken when 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 speaking to him on things she's being really outspoken but at the same time um the air doesn't want her audience to see her uh break um she knows that folks have been telling her for a while to look somewhere else um this you know this was it let me tell you <clears throat> one of them is really really bothered it's like they are sitting here and they're trying to fight off an individual without being able to fight them off like they're really holding and it could be both of them they're really holding somebody's holding somebody really really close to the chest um even though right now they're they're in spouts I don't think that they've actually officially officially walked away completely yet. I think that there's still some background music going. <laughs> I think that these two are still actually dibbling and dabbling in their relationship. They're doing it secretly. Um, I think this is going to be uh so that they can see if this is what they want i think that they feel that they need to live out their actual lives via camera separately uh this, this is what i'm getting i'm getting two people that is going to definitely get back together um i do still see marriage in, in this uh in, in within this reunion um i do still see marriage and if i was here i'd just be careful if you are still seeing ken um about him getting you pregnant um be very careful about that because i'm seeing children a lot too in uh these cards and then you do have the empress down here because you know um, if she got, if Dier was to have a child, that that pretty much would change things. And so, if you are still sleeping with him, uh, Dier, just be a little, you know, a little careful if you don't want children. Yeah, because somebody's has a wish, but right now it's definitely not being granted. So it's something that's going to happen inside of the future. Um, this is something that somebody's still yearning for. Spirit is saying, it's just not going to be now. See. you've got the queen of cups here definitely you know emotions at the moment are upside down nobody's for one you've got one individual feeling as if they can't trust one um, they feel that everything that they've actually accumulated built up together has now been tossed tossed to the side um this took there was a lot there was a lot of a crying there was a lot of crying surrounding this a lot of sadness surrounding it and it could be that sadness and crying is still going on and surrounding it um but somebody's been trying to like maybe just do things to keep their minds off of the, the actual situation um at hand so maybe they're just, you know, maybe that's why Deer has been traveling so much, doing other things at the moment. Yeah, right now, she just wants to continue her world. Um, she feels as right now, she's she's in a place where there are new opportunities um, coming her way. And she's finding that this break that they're saying that they're taking, yes, it's a half, I'm going to say half-ass break because there's something still here that's brewing um i believe that they are still in communication uh the cards are saying that pretty much here there's still some type of communication and so these two won't just be they haven't just breaked it off and said okay we're not going to talk anymore we're not going to do anything anymore no they're going to gradually try to move back 
towards one another okay they're going to gradually try to move back towards one another and it's probably going to be doing during one of them offering one um out on it could be trips i'm hearing something about conventions um but they're going to be doing it privately because all along they're going to be trying to hand this cup back um is what's going to happen they're going to be trying to give back a cup but right now is it's not being it's not being reciprocated it's like it's the I don't want it at the at the moment. I'm so pissed off. I'm still mad about what you've been doing, how you've been treating me. I'm mad about the secrets that you've been keeping. And I believe that there are additional secrets. Um, but there's definitely a sense of feeling bad about how things have actually ended. She literally had to step up, speak for herself in this situation and there was tower moments over and over again it was just too much of her being called out is what i'm getting but i do see a return of a relationship i do see him trying to come back in here with cups and offering her his love i'm hearing something about counseling so i'm not sure if they are going to be counseling I just normally tell y'all what I hear. But somebody wants some truth to come out. I think like literally um, they are most likely doing counseling to get the truth to come out. Like why does this keep happening? There, th That's a question that lies inside of the relationship. And I, I feel like Dier feels good about this counseling because she feels as if things are going to be moving in her favor. She's It's a way for him to open up. It's a way for him to open up to her. Um, even if it has to be through a third party. It's just a way for him to open up. So let's see what else we got. What else? Okay. So you have some. You have them both now at the moment saying okay we are definitely going to go ahead and we're going to take a journey we're taking a leap of faith we're going to walk in our own paths our own directions at least that's what they're trying to make everybody think that that's what they're doing okay but you have the door to personal healing and happiness so at the same time these two are actually healing themselves but they're trying to do it in an affectionate way they're still there for one another so like I said before, I don't feel like this relationship has come to a complete total end. It's gotten to a point where Ken had to be shown that De'Ara would walk away. I feel like this right now is a situation that they're going to be revisiting this relationship. But it's definitely going to take time because there is some truth um, that probably they need to to get to um as far as why things or these issues within their relationship or with ken ha comes about so often so you do have yeah the door of romance right now that door is not open okay that door is not open right now at the moment there needs to be adjacent there is adjacent possibilities. However, the door is just not going to be open at the moment. So it's definitely going to take work. Which, I mean, why let somebody back in? There's definitely a walking away. Okay. And as they're walking away, you've got the thinking woman here, the garden and the gate. And then you've got a man holding a coin and community. So hopefully friends are is going to be what's going to actually bring these two back together. If you look there, she's not facing him. Okay, it's down that. She's not facing him. Okay. This was happiness. This is what they had. This, she's not facing him at the moment. There's, there's still frustration there. Okay. And right here you have community. So maybe it's friends. So maybe, you know, here in the YouTube streets, you might have friends that are actually, you know, talking to them 
um, trying to, you know, checking on them. Um, both Dare and Ken, uh, frankly, trying to get them to communicate, trying to do things so that they're, um, they're there and they're in the presence of each other. So, like, you might have YouTubers that are, you know, these people live private lives as well. And so they may be um, trying to coerce them to get back together. Um, you do have the faith chakra of Archangel Gabriel. However, it is in the reverse. So right now, there is somebody in the relationship doesn't have uh, faith that um, things can be restored. They're, they're just not holding there. In other words, I'm going to say they're not holding on to it right now. They're definitely not holding on to faith in this situation. Um, it's most likely come to a point where Dear is feeling that she doesn't have anything to hold on to. Let's see here. <clears throat> think that there's anything else guys all right i think that's it anything else on daring can the hermit somebody's definitely been going within and trying to seek direction um but still feeling quite a bit lost here um once again while another is individual is feeling like you know i am i'm finally getting the victory that i need so you know maybe from people saying oh yeah dear you know he's been doing this after time and time again and she's walking away she, it's making her feel sort of in a, a good a good thing when it comes to down to her audience but deep down inside it's something that she really didn't want to do okay. so you have the high priestess the strength card and the eight of wands definitely okay definitely trying to have strength to deal with the uh, with the situation however there are still messages back and forth okay the high priestess there could be another individual that's also giving out information this could have been the brother this could have been the brother um and i'm not sure if he's giving out information or or sending information but somebody's it's kind of speedy so could it, it could be text message or email um somebody's giving someone information yeah so it definitely took a while for them to end the relationship um and that's because they wanted every they didn't know how to at first come out and say right now we are just separated okay Right now, we can't fix things, especially being in the public's eye. We are not in a spot, in a place where we can fix things right now within the public's eye. Too much have happened, okay? So, they went out, did their thing, moved past. Act as if they were moving past. And sort of did it quickly, overnight. So, Ken cheated. Um, Dierra found out. Ken cheated again. She found out again. And then overnight sort of things just changed, okay? They tried, started trying to live their lives automatically after that second time. I, I believe that's the second or the third. I don't know, okay? Now, there was an ending. The ending has come, and now she is single. She's single at the moment, and I'm saying at the moment because I don't believe that phys fully she and Ken have both checked out of this relationship. They might say this for the cameras. However, I feel that they may still be in some type of situationship, 
okay so some type of situation ship still sits here still surrounds here and i believe that definitely it's going to end up with them leading their ways back to each other somebody has been watching somebody so definitely they're still spying on one another and that's because somebody is feeling as if what they wanted with this marriage with this foundation is just not being built at the time and it's all due to because ken is out here doing his thing but at the end of the day there is let me tell you somebody i believe that ken wants more than anything now ken would want to impregnate a deer baby ah, baby babies babies let me tell y'all i'm telling you dear just be careful if you're still bumping and grinding with ken girl because uh sis boo I don't know what you're going to do if it happens to you, but I'm just saying. All right, guys, thank you so much for stopping by the channel. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, turn on those post notification bells so that you guys are updated each and every time I do bring you videos. And I will see you again later. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love each and every one of you. Bye.